Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to make double puff butterfly headband. Though I've been seeing people make this with um Ashoke, they call it trending Ashoke headband, but we are going to use Ankara fabric to make this. So I'll be using this Ankara fabric. This is soft um interfacing. We're using this hose. I have tape roof needle and thread of glue gun um, then we'll be using this trimming as well as scissors so guys um this hose is my head circumference i put my tape around my head and i add 22 as my head circumference so this is 23 inches because i added one inch 22 is my head circumference the same thing as this one this one too is 23 inches as well so we'll be using Ankara material to wrap this so cut out your Ankara material this way let it be 28 inches long that means I added 6 inches extra to this hose I cut out 28 inches long and the width should be 3 and half inches so what you do this is the right side and this is the other side fold this way and you just stitch from one end to the other end so i'll be doing the same for the both strip i will come back and show you please if you don't have a sewing machine you can use needle and thread well i'll be going to my sewing machine to sew so guys i'm done stitching i didn't stitch up to half inch like quarter of an inch so what we'll do is to turn this inside out. So I'll also turn this other one. After turning, take your Ankara fabric to your pressing iron and just press press this down so I'll go and do that and come back and show you so guys this is it I've pressed it and I press where I sew to the side and also the same what we'll do now is to put this hose insert it inside the Ankara fabric so you just Push your hose through the Ankara fabric this way. I want this place where I stitch to be up this way. So this is done. We have um, two two inches extra Ankara material. You can see it. Because if I had cut this um Oh, to be my exact head measurement it won't be enough for us to go through our head when we fold it together so i added extra cara fabric so it can be enough for us to take to the head so i'll fix this other one so guys i am done inserting the second one you can see where i stitch here so what we'll do is to place this on the other side so make sure where you stitch here and where you stitch here they are facing each other this way then adjust the mouth to be equal and here also so we'll use our hot glue gun to glue this together because i want it to be this way so this is my hot glue you just raise this up just apply your glue just like that so i'm just holding this part to dry then you continue adding your hot glue this way. Add it on the part where you stitch. So guys, this is how I will be gluing till 
I got the this other part of this Ankara fabric. So guys, I'm done now. It's all dry. So we'll come back to this edge now. What you do, you can decide to stitch it with your needle and thread. But we use hot glue. I'll just put hot glue here then use this other Ankara fabric to cover it up. So you just put your glue this way. Then you place this other fabric on it. Then you hold it to dry. And I will do the same thing for this other side. So guys, I'm done attaching the fabric together. So what we'll do now is to gum this other part this way. So I'll attach, I'll apply a little hot gum and fold it. Just hold it to dry. Then I'll do the same for this other part. So guys, this is it. It's just to make the edges to look very neat. So now you fold it to the size of your edge. Then you join this together this way. Join it together. Then you use your needle and thread to pack it. You can put this here or any which way you want to sew. Just attach it. This I'll be using needle and thread to pack it together. When you are done stitching, you cut off your thread, tie your thread and cut it off. basically done with this this is what it looks like so guys it's time to make the butterfly for the double puff headband this Ankara fabric I have is the length is 15 inches length then the width is 9 inches so I have two Ankara fabric here is this one too is 15 by nine so what we'll do this is the right side of the Ankara fabric this is the other side this other side you take your interfacing the soft one you go to your pressing iron then you iron it and do the same for this one I'll go and do it and come back and show you so guys I'm done ironing to stay on the Ankara fabric so this is what you do next fold your Ankara fabric this way then we are going to stitch stitch this way when you get to this point you leave like two inches these two inches don't sew it so that we will turn from there come you stop here then continue your stone here sew this way then we are going to sew this part too and i will do the same for this other one so i will sew and come back and show you so guys i'm done stitching and i left this Face open so I sew everywhere round. So, all we do is to turn this inside out. You use the scissors or pen to bring out the, edge, the edges.
So I've turned this. This is still the opening. We are going to sew it. So I will turn this other one as well. So I am done. I will go back to my sewing machine and stitch this parts and this other part. So guys, I'm done stitching and I also ironed it. You can see how smooth it is now. So what we'll do is to make pleats for our butterfly. So I'm going to make something like a bow tie. This way. This make parts just use your needle and thread. I use, you can use it to sew or tie it. So, for the purpose of this video, I will be tying it. You can stitch it from the down parts if you don't want to tie like the way I'm tying mine. Of my trade, and I'm also going to do the same for this other one. So, guys, this is the other one. I've also tied it. So, this part that you sew, you watch it so that it doesn't go outside. Let it just be inside your fabric this way. Then, this part that you sew too, let it be inside because you don't want it to show. So this way, this part that you sew and this part that you sew, so you match it together, then we'll tie it. Make sure your butterfly is equal. So now we'll still use thread to tie it together. You can sew yours if you want to so it's needle and thread. I just want to tie it so I'll attach the spider. Oh yeah, don't tie it. Just tie your thread and cut. Yeah, this is what we have so you go back you go back to our double proof headband so this part now is very rough and i don't want it to be like that so you just cut this entire fabric is one and a half inches what i just did was just to fold it together and i press it with my iron so i'll be using this with my hot glue to glue this this way just use my hot glue to cover up where i stitch this way so guys add your glue and use this ankara fabric to cover this rough sewing Thank you. 
And when you get to this part, add a little glue and fold this part so that you have a very neat edge. Fold this part, then fold it this way. You can now add your glue. Hold it to dry. So this is how you look like now. We have a very neat to work. You can use your glue to also glue this part. Just fold it to the inside so your work will be very neat. So this is what it looks like. So we'll go back to our butterfly. Now I'm going to add this this way. So you, I want this to be very neat. You can use your Ankara fabric like this. Like this one I cut out, I just folded it. You can use it this way to, to cover this your thread this way. You just use your hot glue to glue it, then you attach it to your band. For me, I'll be using trim. This is trim. So anything you decide to use, that's what you should use. For me, I want to use trim instead of this Ankara fabric. So what I will just do is to add hot glue. I start gluing this trim around my butterfly. We so just glue this way. Touch this way. So you can cut it or you decide to go round for the second time so that's what i'll be doing now you can cut your own from here i mean i want it to go around for the second time just add your glue Remember, is this part where you stitch? That is where it will be your back. This part where I stitch. So, this is where I'll be cutting off my trim from this back. So you hold it to trim. So when your butterfly is dry, you can now attach it to your headband this way. I'll still use hot glue to attach it. So you can attach your hot glue this way. And still attach some here. Apply some. Then you join it together. You hold it to dry. This way. So, so it's dry now. Guys, our Ankara double puff butterfly headband is, is ready. You can see how beautiful it came out. So let me put it on my head now so that you see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. Okay? This is it.